All right, so in this video, I have a review finally on this pair of sneakers right here. I did a little bit of a preview of this one uh, the other day, and we have the Adidas Web Boost. Now, this is not the same as the Ultra Boost Web DNA. This is actually just called the Web Boost, but uh, one thing that I am excited about is the midsole and the outsole is exactly the same as the Ultra Boost version. So I think that is definitely noteworthy. The other thing, as the point of this video, you can get these as low as 64 bucks. Crazy, crazy deals on these, honestly. Uh, I posted them the other week on sale for like $38, which is absolutely ridiculously cheap. They like double deep discounted these things really, really crazy. But the thing is, it's actually a really comfortable pair of sneakers. So the midsole again, same as the Ultra Boost DNA. But the reason why I like it is it's full boost on the midsole underneath the webbing. And it's actually really, really felt. For some reason, it's extra, extra squishy uh, underneath the webbing. And unlike the Adidas Ultra Boost, this is just straight boost material underneath. There is no torsion system in the middle of the shoe. Added plastic in the regular Ultra Boost. So this one does actually feel really, really soft and squishy on the heel of the shoe. Not so much in the forefoot. It's a little bit thinner in the forefoot, but the heel squish on this is actually really, really good. Something that I would draw a parallel on the Nike side is something like the Nike Pegasus Turbo Next. This is actually softer on feet than that version, and that's Zoom X on that shoe. Uh, so anyway, this model, I wanted to give you guys some information about it. So let's go ahead and get in some words from what Adidas says. This is the Adidas Web Boost 168 retail chalk white impact orange legend ink colorway that I got. Short distance running shoes made in part with recycled materials. Getting in a few miles of running to the store, these Adidas shoes have all attacked to make short distance training of Rees. And you'll want to wear them the rest of the day too. The upper has cutouts for airflow acting like a harness for the stretchy inner booty. The boost midsole is wrapped in 3D stretch web to enhance the feeling of energy return. Upper contains a minimum of 50% recycled content and it has a textile lining and a rubber outsole. So this upper is very interesting, definitely different than the Ultra Boost version. And it does appear to have like two layers. One is the inner booty that has some circular cutouts for the mesh to have a little bit of extra breathability there. And then you do have a fused overlay over top of that mesh. But this is an interesting part. You can actually stick your finger under part of the underlay here, which I think is kind of a cool thing. Thing because you could probably rip this entire upper part off if you were really interested. You do have some extra fused material across the toe cap of the shoe. And then I also like the little vent holes on the sides where the three stripes are and the three stripes are prominent just like on the Ultra Boost pair. You also do have three stripes up the tongue of the shoe as well as the back of the shoe uh, done in orange on this colorway and then a little round plastic Adidas logo on the tongue. I do like that even the lace tips have a variation of the orange and the blue. And then you do also have a plastic heel clip on the back. I would say fit for myself, true to size on these, I got a nine and a half and I'm happy with my choice but then you get down to the 360 stretch web midsole outsole and it's a nice combination honestly i love that you can see the boost through the bottom of the shoe and then you have lots of visibility to the boost all the way around the shoe overall comfort is very nice in the shoes stability is good as well and i think it's a really nice looking shoe especially for 64 dollars like you can get them on sale for right now i'll link them in the description if you're interested in buying them it really is a nice price point considering again retail is 160 dollars on these and even 160 honestly seems like a decent price considering the ultra boost versions are like 180 Three things I really like about this model. The first one, as I already mentioned, it has the same outsole and midsole as the more expensive Ultra Boost version. It's exactly the same. Love the fact that you have that and it adds some nice value. The second reason I really like these is because you don't have anything on the bottom of the shoe. There's no torsion plate on the bottom. It's just boost and then the stretch web midsole. And the third reason why I really like these is just the overall style of the shoe looks really nice. They could have gone completely different with a non Ultra Boost version, but it has Ultra Boost stylings because of the way that the top comes together, but it's also done in its own way where it has two different shells, an inner booty, and then also some pull tabs and a heel counter. It's nice that they just brought the shoe together the way they did. And this colorway I actually really, really like. It's one that caught my eye on the website. This one's not $64, but uh, some of the other ones they do have uh, for only $64. This one was like 90, I think, uh, on the website on sale. And honestly, an all around great model considering the price point of these things. So uh, that's kind of my two cents on the model. I would say definitely a go for the 64 bucks. If you like the Adidas Ultra Boost Comfort and it's something that you have been familiar with in the past, and you could try these for such an incredible price. Honestly, the comfort of these things are really, really nice and they feel really good on feet. I said this on my Ultra Boost video, but it feels like the boost material itself is actually a softer a compound than the regular boost material. And I don't know if they've been changing the compound or not, but again, it's just really soft and squishy. Definitely worth checking out in person. But if you guys bought a pair of these for $38 or $64, whatever the price point you paid for them, leave a comment in the comment section what do you like about the product or not. Uh, let other people know. Just curious to see what you guys have to say because I've worn mine and I really like the results, but uh, curious to see what you guys say about yours. Appreciate you all for stopping by and watching. Have a good rest of the day. Hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more sneaker content uh, very soon. Have a good one. Peace guys.